guys, Kuro Blonowif, I'm Eric. I'm Rick. I'm Calvin. I'm Aaron. And we are back with Vinland Saga, where last time we had a, a reality check of what the Vikings were really like. Yep. Yeah, Bad we're people. Nestled not, down for the winter. Not called Vikings. Hmm. I keep Indeed. saying Vikings, but they're not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, it was uh, a sobering episode, I would, I would say. But, and I was... I, I like that was a joke drinking. episode once they drink all the ale that That's they true. got by killing everyone. Maybe this one will be a musical. What? I like to be like a musical. Him. Maybe. Yeah, if you'd have known all that, you probably wouldn't have gone through this. Because what, what, isn't his whole idea like, we'll use him, sell him off to whoever wants him the most... But and then he's, ransom him. He's not going to lose what he's told us that he's going to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, he's not worth anything to the English if yeah. the king doesn't want him. Yeah. And he obviously doesn't seem worth anything to the king. Yeah. So now it's like, we're not getting any money for this prince. Yeah. And he killed the guy who was looking after him. The only one who seemed to care about him. Yeah. That's probably why he was keeping him from the battlefield so much then. Because he thought the whole thing was just to kill him anyway. Yeah. And he's not, he's not a fighter, really, anyway, too, so... But he can cook. So bad for calling him Conehead. Yeah, I know. There's a man that stabbed him in the back, called him Conehead. <laughs> like, they didn't even like fight him. Yeah, the like at least fight him, you know? Let him take out a couple of people. Like, I know that he's a Christian, but they deny him Fahala. You know? <laughs> yeah. It's like how they beat Thor's, right? It wasn't like they fought him and he died. It was that they held his son hostage and he allowed himself to be killed know. you not, know I'm not saying like well they're, they're, these good honorable men fucked up they're, yeah they're no like, that's nothing like that it's just upsetting yeah it's like I like Thorkel so much more yeah <laughs> he's bloodthirsty <laughs> like winner ha! but he's, he's not mad you know he's not like ah oh, winner we get to take a break he's like damn it for stopping me but there's also like an honor amongst him yeah like he's not just trying to kill Thorfinn like stab him in the back now I gotcha you know no. to win he wants I mean, to fight he's, him. He wants he's, to battle. He's like an even more fucked up Goku. Like he eats like crazy, and he just th- thrives for amazing challenges. But he hates to lose. Sure. True. More. Yeah. He hates that the most. Which is kind of a catch twenty two when you're just like, so excited about fighting people that can beat you. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna lose eventually. Yeah. It makes more sense of the prince, like his anger at the father to. Are you even here, sir? Do you even care about us, kind of thing? Like to the to the Lord or whatever. The priest. Yeah. Yeah, and then he's like, every father loves his son unconditionally. Yeah. Like for never doubt it. Yeah. And Ragnar knows that's different. Yeah. For Thorfinn, I feel like it's he's like thinking about his dad a little bit there, but Prince Canute's thinking about his dad who doesn't care for him and possibly right. wants him to die so his brother can take the throne. Yeah. Because yeah. then if he dies in battle, oh well, well, he can't be there, so you don't have a split amongst the country. To have a vote. King Smooch. Or just, you know, do it like the English at least most of the time and it's just the oldest. Sure. Like nothing else matters. I'm just like thinking about Canoe, like trying to think about his theology, right? I mean it's pretty true to the time. But I I just keep thinking about like doubt and faith are so intertwined, right? I mean, faith the biblical definition of faith is the evidence of things unseen. It's like it's not stuff you know, it's what you believe. Like, it's just like a, to me, a foreign concept, but it also makes sense in terms of like, no, this is how it is, or anger, or death, or crusade, yeah. <laughs> you know? Well, and they're adopting the religion, too. Yeah, exactly. Mixing it with previous beliefs and uh, adapting certain things, right? Mm-hmm. Sure. I think I'm just most mad that they just stabbed him in the back. Me too. a trap yeah. door hidden right? in the snow. And it's just it wasn't like he was sneaking up on yeah. him to stab him in the back and he would have hurt him yeah. they set it up to lead him to a point to have like three or four guys all around him yeah. and we'll just open his trap door stab him in the back with a spear and it's all lucky that he heard too. the sounds of battle right there by that tree and stopped like how far would he have had to walk like how many people do they have hidden how many people do they have hidden yeah it's like every ten feet there's a guy with a spear waiting to stick it's him just, in the back it's like it's contextual too because I see these guys, well, at the very least, they're warriors, right? They still throw out, like, the English. They're weak, you know? They shouldn't have to devolve to Robin Hood and his merry men tactics, you know? Yeah. Like, farmers fighting soldiers is different than soldiers fighting soldiers. But they're also pirates, kind of, too. They're not necessarily the most upstanding Norsemen. And, like, if sure. Ragnar had been a better warrior, 
would he have fell for it? Yeah. You know? It's like, well, if you are bad enough that you get caught by this, mm-hmm. you're not a worthy of a warrior's death anyway. Sure. Yeah, it's another one of those hmm. stupid catch-22 things. Yeah, it's like, you know... Uh, like King Swain is like, well, if he dies in battle, then clearly he wasn't worthy to rule the country. Still but he's probably going to be a better liege lord or ruler or whatever than the guy who just kills a bunch of people all the time, you know? Like, cooking is beneath you. Like, that's something that sure. only the commoners do. Shouldn't practice what the... But in his faith, like, the son of God washes the feet of the people at the dinner. Mm-hmm. Which I don't know if it's King Swain is also a Christian, or is it just Canute? I think it's just Canute. I don't know. I think he might not be. I don't know. He's a king of the Danes, though, right? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. I don't know if, like, why he would allow his son to have a different religion, or if he has the same religion. Sure. Yeah, I don't know. Because, like, the priest is part of the king's court, I think. So well, he, was, I assume... he was at least there at the king's, like, palace or whatever yeah. while the prince was there. So he I assume he's a the Christian. princes or whatever. Just trying to look up the origin of, of Catch-22. They use it all the time. It's why? a book. But why? Is it a book? <laughs> yeah. Someone right. once uh, caught a bullet. In his bare hand. a twenty two rifle. <laughs> Coined by Joseph Heller, who used it in his 1961 novel, Catch-22. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Which just means, like, bad on both sides? Is the idea of it? It's in like which a... the main character feigns madness in order to avoid dangerous combat missions, but his desire to avoid them is taken to prove his sanity. Hmm. Okay. Just it's like, it's like Odysseus. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. Okay. Well, I was wondering what uh, Oscalad meant by, like, let's not let this opportunity go to waste. Yeah. Sure. No, no. I was just like, what does he mean? Well, like, was... to, to what? but to kill Ragnar without questions. Yeah, I was kind of wondering about that, because like, they mentioned it a few episodes back, I think, about... Uh, I think it was the... Uh, shoot, where are they? Welsh. The one guy who met him, right? Yeah. The, the Welsh guy, whatever, mm-hmm. then, that was like, that man's making him weak. He needs yeah. to make him strong. We need to get rid of him. Mm-hmm. They had mentioned that, and I was like, are they going to do that now, or do they mean something else? And I wasn't sure what they were yeah. going to go for. And the... Uh... And he didn't even do it himself. Yeah, no. Mm-hmm. The uh, the consequence of they missed one survivor is definitely going to get to them. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was thinking uh, at the beginning of this when they had ear, ear right, ear up yeah. in the tree. tree. Yeah, I was I, like, I don't know how you forgot that. Yeah, I, <laughs> my moose said C. <laughs> like um, but you know, last episode ear didn't hear her leave or anything, but it was a blizzard. He even mentioned here about the snow. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he was it, wouldn't have heard anything. It muffles everything. He yeah. has like that supernatural ability, but didn't work out for them. So they wonder if his name is Harry Ear. Could be because here. So they had a. Uh, I have hairs in my ears, man. So do I. I had a really long one growing off the Jesus. lobe of my ear. Jesus Jesus Christ. Fuck, it's back. Yeah. How did it grow back? All Aaron. I don't remember. Aaron, pull this. Did you have any? It's out. What? Why don't I look at it? What do you want me to do? Look how long this was. It was coming off the very outside of my ear. Okay, well, I, sh- I got it. Shave it. Fucking no, you don't shave your ears. You, you pluck it. You can shave your ears. Why would you sh- take a razor and like go inside your ear and everything? What the fuck are you doing? Subscribe. Uh, and my wife help. 